So if you're anything like me, you fantasize what it would be like to go back in time and walk through a local tackle shop of yesteryear. Well, Bass and Buds, hold on to your trucker hats because today we're going back into 1987 and doing just that at Jim's Rebate Tackle Shop. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Happy Saturday and welcome to Retro Bassin. As you guys know, I am always on the quest for any private, independently owned tackle shops. And I didn't think that there were any shops left to find close to my home in Driftwood, Texas. Well, wrong was I. I'm standing in front of Jim's Rebate Tackle Shop just on the shores of Medina Lake, which was the birthplace of the Pico Perch. I just stepped inside for a quick walkthrough, met Jim and his daughter, and I am still reeling from what I saw in the first two minutes. <laughs> this might be one of the most epic tackle tours to date. All right, well, I am standing in the middle of Jim's rebate tackle shop, and there is old school gold all around me. I could spend the next, like, probably two days here, but I've got to hurry up and get home, so I probably only have about 60 or 90 minutes to spend. I'm gonna go through this place as best I can, row by row and section by section, but Bass and Buds, you have to get here in person to realize how truly amazing this little tackle shop is. So I'm gonna start at this end of the shop, work my way over to there. <sighs> Wish me luck. So I am kneeling in front of probably the most epic wall of bombers that I think I have ever seen. Hopefully, I'm trying to get everything in frame here. You can see. <laughs> Not only is it a ton of the old school bomber packaging uh, with that awesome old school logo, but there's a ton of discontinued bombers or bombers that, there's some I've never seen before actually. So here we've got uh, some really nice old school discontinued colors of the Bomber Flat A. Oh, one of the most money uh, sort of shad imitating baits out there. I think they still offer this from Pradco, but they definitely don't offer it in that color. Oh, and then there's a nice one. I don't know if they sell this one anymore. It is a shallow Flat A. Check that out. Oh, so the same profile with a shallow little lip on it. Ooh, some nice discontinued colors of the classic Bomber A. I don't know if that's called Chartreuse Crappie. Might be. <laughs> There's a discontinued color. <laughs> I don't even know what that's called. There's a, another Model A in a sort of a chartreuse silver pattern. Oh, and by the way, I'll kind of try to do the prices on these as we go. Under five bucks. <laughs> Nuts. Ooh, okay, so behind me, uh, a bait that I haven't seen in a long, long time, the Bomber Fat A. And look at that Fire Tiger with the red uh, marks on it. Ooh. Oh man, metallic, clear, oh. Let's see what other baits are on the other side here for bombers before we move on down the line. Uh, looks like some old school, ooh, hold up. Look at that, oh, fat A, oh my goodness. That's like the Bill Dance color, but before Bill Dance even had his autograph on it. 
We've got some nice bomber long A's in some discontinued colors as well. Ooh, what is that pattern? It's like a fire tiger, but it's got a little bit of a uh, flow orange or red in it. Very unique. <laughs> Ooh, looks like a old school suspendy long A. Same color pattern that I used to fish in the KVD Excalibur model, but minus KVD signature because he probably wasn't even uh, born yet. <laughs> Okay, we're moving on down the Pradco or the pre-Pradco aisle into the section of Rebel Baits. I'll show you some of the cool baits that I spotted really quickly. Uh, ooh, first off, look at this. This is a Rebel Chug R. Oh man, gorgeous discontinued bait in a sort of a blue silver shad pattern. Oh man. Ooh, there it is in a green pattern. <laughs> I don't know how many of these are gonna be here when you guys get here, I just gotta be honest with you. And how much are these going for? $4.43 for some discontinued Rebels. Those are not eBay prices, I'll tell you that. Ooh, there's another nice one in a more shad pattern, kind of classic shad pattern. Uh, what do we have here? Is this a P70? Popar. Yeah, I think this might be a discontinued old school P70. Ooh, that sounds like an old P72, doesn't it? <laughs> a 399. This is nuts. This is just nuts. So it looks like a bunch of old P70s. Uh, there's another beautiful one in an old bone color. I think that's the P70. Correct me, guys, if I'm wrong. That could be. As well, uh, let's see. As well as this, what is this? Rebel Deep We Are Excalibur Hooks Dealer's Choice Area Color. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Uh. Oh, here's another nice Dealer's Choice Deep We Are. I can't see with the stickers what color it is. Looks like it's more of a white uh, sort of shad pattern with Excalibur hooks. And how much is this guy? $3.29. Ah, uh, yeah. And there's a more classic looking uh, We Are in a Chrome. $4.29. I think the price has changed a little bit. So what Jim was saying is he'll price them according to what the wholesale cost was. So the older the bait, the cheaper it is here because the cheaper he got it when he first bought it. Okay, uh, before I go to the next aisle, I've got to scoot back a little bit because there's another uh, discontinued bait from Rebel that I just saw that I want to show you. It's got a kind of a unique bill on it and oh, that is a money, money old crankbait from Rebel. 428, you're not gonna get this for 428 on eBay. I can promise you that. That's like a $15 bait all day long. <laughs> And they're just hanging out on the rack, on the peg, just, you know, waiting for somebody to discover them here at Jim's. <laughs> Chrome blue. Uh, it's like every time I come to one of these places, it, uh, I feel like it's gotta be like a five-parter just to do it justice. Well, I love me some cotton cordell, and here is the old school cotton cordell section at Jim's, uh, right out of the gates. Oh my goodness, there is a gorgeous looking big O discontinued color that almost looks like sort of a Japanese exclusive color, but it's not. Uh, how much is this one? Four twenty nine. <laughs> oh man. There's another one in uh, more of a pearl white pattern. And this is a size of big O that they don't make anymore. Pradco makes one big O, but it's not the big one actually. It's like the little O. Oh, nice old school crawfish pattern, the classic Big O. So here's the modern version of the Big O in the only size they still make from, from Cotton Cordell. $4.29 for that guy. I also spot some old school rattle spots. 
Are you kidding me? Look at that color. Oh, oh my goodness. That is like the sexiest looking red crawfish I've seen. Holy mackerel. 329. <laughs> that almost looks metallic. I don't think it is, but that is awesome. Uh, there it is, the 1992 Bassmaster Classic winner. <laughs> that it is, that it is. Uh, another nice rattle spot in a small mouth bass pattern. Ooh, the rattle spot minnow, 100% discontinued bait. Look at that. 379. I'm noticing kind of a pattern here. Just about everything is less than five bucks. Look at that color. That's like a clown color. I've never seen anything like that. Oh my goodness. That is wild. Uh, 299 for that one. <laughs> That's like a Walmart discount bin price for a bait that they'll never make that one again. Okay, little warning here with the next bait. I am about to disappoint some Bass and Buds because I see like five of this certain bait on the shelf and there will be zero when I leave. Oh my goodness, the clear near nothing minnow. One of the toughest uh, top waters to find from Cotton Cordell. This is an insanely awesome bait for schooling bass. It's a top water popper, but it's actually solid, so it sinks. Uh, 379 for the near nothing and uh, there they are in the classic pattern look at that oh my goodness oh and there's one in the chrome yep sorry bass buds these are uh coming with me what uh what else do we have here i see uh some cotton cordell crazy shads a bait that they actually did come back out with from Pradco, which is cool, but there's the, the vintage version, dual props, as well as this, an old school boy howdy with the dual props, another great looking bait. 429, getting pretty expensive there. You don't see near nothing. I don't think they make near nothing anymore. Uh, some of these, uh, the crazy shad, they've dropped certain colors, clear blue nose, then they brought it back. I think they may have, you know, I think they're still doing it. But, uh, you know, it, it's just, the one thing that's pretty interesting too, Chris, is the prices. You know, the, uh, the spooks, you know, they're five bucks. When I get the new ones, they're gonna be seven. Okay, went around to the next aisle, moved over to the head and section, and I don't know. Discontinued Bayou Boogies. Woof. Like last time I found one of these, I was like freaking out. They've got like five different colors with five on the rack each. Oh man. For two ninety nine. Oh my goodness. Uh, I see some old school Zara spooks, and <sighs> bass and buds. That is a tough color right there. Four ninety nine Zara spook in. Woof. Old school. Old school color. <laughs> Look what I just spotted. Oh man. Uh, yeah, that's a tough color right there. Old school Charlie Campbell pattern. Oh my goodness. That's tough to get out of the package. And in the package, they just had two of them. Um, had is the appropriate word on this. So moving on down. We've got some head in uh, torpedoes and teeny torpedoes. Ooh, that's a good looking old color there. 
<laughs> That's like a white shore minnow. I mean, I, you could do an episode with like every two feet of this place. So they all pre Pradco? All, all except for the ones in the dark. All the rest of them are uh, pre Pradco. These, these are the new ones made in Nicaragua or, or wherever. So here's a section that I know Jim is pretty proud about. These are all, everything that's not in the blue package is a pre Pradco Bill Norman. Uh, just try to find one of these. I mean, I can't even get into this. It's so much. We'll just grab that. They're sort of a metallic uh, copper pattern. So yeah, you can see the back of this package. That definitely is a pre Pradco. Built in Greenwood, Arkansas from Norman Lores. In a glow crawl color. <sighs> 419. Oh, look at that discontinued beauty in a more natural finish. What is this one called? Uh, golden, uh, deep little N. Oh. Okay, so the Bill Normans keep going and going till the end of the second row. Uh, I see some flat ends up here, and I see some Normans that I don't even know I recognize. This bait says new, but I don't think it's new anymore. It is. A crankbait that's jointed and flat. What is that called? The flat broke from Bill Norman. Huh. Drop a comment, let me know about that bait and probably why I should have bought them all instead of leaving here. How much is that sucker? Ooh, that's 529, so. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good looking bait. N new, maybe in uh, 92, it might have been new. Also got some Norman Topwaters here. What is this? It's called the uh, Top Dollar. See the little side profile there? 4.69. And also, what is this? The Bill Norman Razorback Minnow. 5.19, so that one must be a little bit newer, but that's definitely still a pre pradco bait. And the hits just keep coming and coming in this place. So here's aisle, sort of a grab bag of some different old school lure companies. I see some Lure Jensen's over here. Looks like some discontinued brush babies there. Oh, that's a good old bait. Ooh, and also the old hot lips. Look at that lip on that sucker. That thing probably dives like 30 feet. What do we have here? The Lure Jensen Claw Dad. 449. <laughs> Got some uh, Bill Dance Excalibur baits here. Uh, ooh, nice little suspending uh, Bill Dance Excalibur. Looks like a fat free shad. And then here's an interesting section of baits that honestly I don't have a ton of exposure fishing, and that is Berkeley Frenzy baits. Interesting packaging. I remember when this came out, but it's like a hard shell. And just sort of a very angular looking crankbait. Uh, Berkeley Frenzy, $4.99. Those are wild. But just a whole section of looks like some minnows, some deep cranks, and some shallow cranks. Oh, and lipless cranks. <laughs> so I'd be remiss if I did not show you guys this section of old Bagley's. I think some of these are the newer models, like anything that comes in this uh, sort of new school yellow package. Probably has a website on the back. Um, actually, I don't know, that might be old too. <laughs> but these are not new. Look at that, an old school Bagley in a beautiful pattern. Show you the back of that package. Does it have the year on it? No, it says Fort Myers, Florida, though. So I think that's an original Bagley. 
for five fifty nine. Oh my gosh, look at that. An old diving bee and just old school awesome for $5.49. I'll try to go to the models. I know some of you get Bagley guys are really into the models. So this one says DB3. It looks like a diving bee number two. Yeah, another DB3. Ooh, what is this one? Killer B2. Oh, Oh, and there's another p killer B2. Look at that pattern. Oh my goodness. 549. Yeah, you could get that on eBay for 549, huh? <laughs> so they've also got some non uh, diving B stuff as well, which is really cool from Bagley. Like this, the old school small fry. The bang o popper. What? The Super Stinger 3. Again, all these are like $4.29. Ooh, there's a nice uh, smaller small fry. $4.29. Ooh, this is one of my favorite baits and bags. Like, I had one of these as a kid and I lost it. And I feel like I just got back an old friend today. The Bagley Small Fry in a bluegill pattern. Oh, $4.99, baby. And last, we got another Small Fry in the Baby Bass pattern. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Bagley's. A lot of these are repackaged because Bagley's packaging used to be huge. Okay, this yellow stuff is made somewhere, not here. All the rest of these is just repackaging. And actually you could call up people and say, hey, you know, can you send me the new packaging? And they used to do that. How old are these Bagley's? How old are they? Some of them 20 years. All right, I'm gonna take a quick look at a little mini section of vintage Excalibur baits. Some of these baits, they still sell like this, the old pop and image. And also this, the old uh, spit and image. Love that bait. But check out these. <laughs> A mystic torpedo. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Those things look insanely slick in the water. Uh, 529 for that guy. One of my favorite crankbaits, actually the Rebel Shad R in a gorgeous mystic pattern as well. 529. <laughs> uh, in addition to that, what else do we have here? Uh, we got a swim in image as well. And looks like an Excalibur suspending Shad R. Woohoo, baby bass. And by the way, you could tell they were suspending by the red eyes. And also the sticker that says suspended. I'm gonna wedge myself into this little aisle as best I can, but you guys gotta check out these old school Berkeley Power Baits. <laughs> oh, it even has the old school logo. Look at that, guys. That is like perfectly sealed, unopened uh, Power Bait. Oh man, I can almost smell those. I mean, you can't, but <laughs> An old school, old school color. Ooh, six twenty nine. Not too bad, but that's like a twenty pack. I mean, just look at the colors. Who throws a worm like that anymore? Oh my goodness, methylate power worm. <laughs> A 
Ooh, a nice cherry seed. I just love these old colors. Crown Ice Power Worm, huh? Look at that. <laughs> Forget morning dawn, I wanna throw Crown Ice. Mint Green. I just love that all the worm colors back in the day were kind of more like flavors. Mint green. <laughs> Tomato chartreuse. Oh my goodness. So, and on top of, by the way, the racks and racks they have, they've also got boxes and boxes of power baits that are just already in these sealed boxes. 100 counts. <laughs> I mean, you can catch every bass in Medina Lake twice on the amount of power baits they have here. Look at this, so that looks like a 100 pack of some old school color. Um, <laughs> Neon's Worm, baby bass. And the 100 pack, by the way, uh, here at Jim's, 22 bucks. They've probably got hundreds of hundred packs here. So I am 100% not doing this section justice, but to give you guys an idea of just how much tackle they have that's not even on the rack, you gotta look at this. So right here is a section of boxes and boxes of 100 count bags of old school power worms. And there's probably 50 boxes right here. In addition to that, there's this whole shelf Berkeley Power Lizard. $30 for 100 count. <laughs> it's not even open. Another 100 count of Berkeley Neon's uh, Lizard, 30 bucks. Ooh, the old discontinued Power Crawl, I mean. <laughs> I just gotta get out of here. You know, the good thing is that over the years, I've got a good enough clientele that know that they can come out here and get something, particularly the Berkeleys uh, or other things. And, you know, whether they be for this lake or they're going to Falcon or Amistad, Choke, whatever it is, this all transfers someplace else. It'll, it'll work there just as well as it'll work here. And plus they know that I have it. That's sort of the key. And I, I don't like to see empty pegboard hooks. I just, I just don't. And that and that's the other thing, you know, some of this stuff doesn't turn real well, but if you don't have every peg with something on it, they automatically assume you don't have anything. Usually, if somebody comes in once, they'll come back. Uh, it's very seldom somebody say, well, gee whiz, he didn't have anything. You know, I'm looking for something that's popular and maimed. Yeah, you know, well, he didn't have it. You know, you know, not much you can do about those people. But uh, it's just, just that. It, it's they know what I have, and they know that I'll keep it for them if they say I, I won't be there till next week. I'll put them aside. You know, and they, they works out well. Works out well for them and for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough of Jim's rebate tackle shop. I will drop all of the information for Jim's down below. Uh, the address, the phone number. At the moment, this is a cash only establishment. So hit an ATM and get your butt over here before this old school gold is gone forever. I'll see you all next Saturday. But until then, keep the carpet side up and definitely. Fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bastards.